should learn from our mistakes that we should retrospect and we should be aware about our mistakes but sometimes when i look back to look at the mistakes that i that i have done i often find myself going into a sinkhole instead of taking it positively i take it negatively so how should i like positively learn from them instead of like just spiraling down in it so you committed a mistake what happens when you when you look at that episode for example i failed in a test and when i look back upon it i just feel ki ki i won't be able to do it instead of getting motivation from it sometimes it, for example there was a test and i worked really hard for it i worked for 15 days and i still wasn't able to succeed so when i look back upon it sometimes instead of looking at the mistakes i often find myself thinking ki i won't be able to do this instead of getting no but but your your conclusion is not misplaced if you repeat what you did the last time you will fail again the next time so your conclusion is just all right you look at the previous attempt and you feel you won't be able to make it again hmm? this is a perfectly right conclusion within a condition do you see the assumption attached the condition attached the condition is i do not want to change now the task remains what it was and you remain what you were obviously the result would remain what it was hmm? for the result to change something has to change the weight of the task hasn't reduced so what's the only thing that can change the way you approached it your assessment of yourself the effort you put into it the attention you gave it that has to change but the ego does not want to change that because to change your actions really you will have to change who you are hmm? there is this thing ego that wants to defend itself it does not want to change it wants better results definitely that's what it wants to change the results but it does not want to change itself hmm? so it will look at the previous attempt and say oh why try again i'll fail again and the ego is right because the ego does not want to change if you are prepared to change nothing is beyond you it's not that things are too much we make ourselves too little in front of things you are not an absolute you are not a fixed entity you have a choice you choose what you want to be internally and you can choose to be big or small if you choose to be small obviously you will be dwarfed in front of big challenges the challenge is so big i am so small but you have chosen to be small the challenge is only relatively big the challenge is not absolutely big challenge is big in relation to what you have chosen to be and that's a sovereign free choice you can exercise it you can say i can be different i i love this project so much the the importance of this challenge is so much that i have to succeed i cannot afford to fail it is something of tremendous importance it is of it is of so much importance that i would rather change than fail right if self preservation entails self destruction why self preserve 
the ego is fond of self preservation it says oh, please 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 let me be secure let me be secure but that self preservation in some moments is revealed to be self destruction it always is just that the revelation happens selectively episodically at least when it becomes obvious that by choosing to remain yourself you are choosing to condemn yourself then choose to change hmm? that's what vedant teaches you vedant is a philosophy of great empowerment hmm? i encourage everybody especially youngsters and intelligent youngsters to go to vedant you have a choice that's the central message of vedant you always have a choice you have a choice not just with respect to things in the world your most fundamental choice is with respect to who you are you can be anything Hmm? and you can choose to be absolutely nothing this choice is the pinnacle of all choices to choose to be absolutely nothing because when you choose to be nothing then you can afford to be anything as per the requirement of the great challenge right so when you look at your failures ask yourself what was it within me that failed the moment even as you look at the task that proved overpowering also with one eye look at the one who was overpowered what was it within me that failed to stand up hmm? and that's the one you need to change or discard right you you need not keep a loser within is there any fun in that so identify the loser within and lose it no we all make mistakes we all prove unequal to the tasks at hand find out find out who was sitting within incapable of the task find him and fire him you are dismissed out i need somebody more competent hmm now i'm making sense no yes yes i'm getting it every failure then becomes a stepping stone an opportunity to know yourself and therefore improve hmm? so many wise people have thanked their failures heartfully they say we would have never realized our weak spots had we not failed in in such situations but remember the project you take up must be worthy of your love otherwise instead of dropping your weaknesses you will drop the project itself the project has to be tremendously lovable so lovable that you cannot drop it in spite of all the failures so the project cannot be dropped then the only option is to drop the weaknesses Yes, sir. Yeah, that gave me quite a lot of clarity. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Bits Embryo, I would like to thank you for this insightful, inspiring, and truly thought-provoking interaction. All of us were really captivated, and it was an immense pleasure to listen to your wise words and learn so much from them. Thank you once again. Thank you. Mm-hmm.